It is Sunday night, so it's time for us to take a peek at the week ahead. And I can tell you this much, it's definitely going to be colder throughout the week. Tomorrow we've got storm number one to deal with. Rain heavy at times with temperatures dropping into the 40s by daybreak, then staying in the 40s. Storm number two comes in midweek on Wednesday. This could bring more of a wintry mix, mainly to the west and north of Richmond, while to the south and east will be another soaking rain. And as I mentioned, a chilly week. The temperatures stay in the 40s all week long during the day, in the 20s at night, a few of these nights. And then by next Sunday, we could see yet another system bringing some rain showers to the area. So here's storm number one that's coming through tonight and tomorrow. That is storm number two way out near the Pacific just coming on shore. That's what's going to bring us that midweek potential wintry mix tonight. The rain developing just to our south and west will be here by daybreak. And as I mentioned, it's going to come down heavy at times during the morning. 50 degrees outside right now, so it's still relatively mild, but the wind is turned to the northeast, and that's going to bring in somewhat cooler air for tomorrow. And with the rain coming down, that should keep us in the 40s. So we drop a few more degrees overnight, low and mid 40s on average, although well north and west may see a few readings in the upper 30s. If you are anxious for the peak of the Gemini meteor shower, I have bad news. The clouds have taken over. And they're going to dominate overnight tonight, but there'll be a few more nights where you might see some meteors this coming week. The shower peaks tomorrow morning. Highs tomorrow, we stay right in the 40s, so upper 40s at best. Clouds overnight, eventually some rain moves in. This is 7 a.m., and the rain's coming down pretty good along and west of the I-95 corridor. Through the morning, some pretty good downpours. This is noontime. Notice a little snow up in the higher elevations, but everybody else is just going to see rain tomorrow. It'll be a cold rain. By late in the afternoon, we'll start to see a clearing trend by the time we get to sunset. Tuesday shaping up to be a pretty nice day with plenty of sunshine. In terms of rain totals, we're looking at an inch, inch and a half across the region. So this is going to be a soaking rain for tomorrow. It'll be a pretty quick hit out of here by tomorrow afternoon. Now, storm number two is on the horizon by 6 a.m. Wednesday morning. By mid-morning, precipitation overspreads the region. And this is going to be sort of the dividing line right near Metro Richmond. The data has been pretty consistent that we see a mix just west of Richmond of rain and snow, and it goes to all snow a little farther west and then all rain to the south and east. We'll refine this as we continue to watch developments over the next couple of days. Keep in mind the storm is still just coming in off the Pacific, but this is the general trend in the model data. Rain, Richmond south and east, a mix just to the west, and then all snow the farther west and north you go over the higher elevations. That's mid-afternoon Wednesday into the evening, and then it all pulls out of here by the time we get to Thursday morning. Because of that mix, there's the potential for a little ice accumulation here. Louisa up to Fredericksburg and out towards Charlottesville on Wednesday. And the greatest chance at seeing accumulating snow is going to come out this way, but the precipitation comes in early enough, we might just see a little coating here in Metro Richmond. So stay tuned for further details over the next couple of days. Clouds thicken overnight. Rain develops by daybreak as we drop into the 40s and stay there tomorrow. A lot of rain in the morning, tapering to a few showers and eventually tapering off later in the afternoon. Temperatures stay in the 40s. They're in the 40s on Tuesday, but dry. There's that messy mixture on Wednesday. Dry the rest of the week, maybe a passing flurry on Thursday, but staying chilly. No